Good morning. Good morning. Let's start this morning worshiping the Lord. Yeah. 
something that's one of the best parts of being a pastor, and that is getting to dedicate children to the Lord. And uh, we got the whole the whole family is having well, not everybody in the family is having babies, but their babies are having babies. So um, we have uh, Gamble's here today. We have well, and McGuigan, uh, Riley. She's. She, I'm going to interrupt her. Snack? Yeah. Yeah. Morning. Breakfast. She's five. Well, I'm not going to hold her. I, got, <laughs> I usually like to hold babies when I, but there's too many babies today. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Um, you said she's five months today? Yes. Okay. So, and, uh, oh, time with us. And we have uh, Cody and Morgan here with their new twins. How old? 12 days. 12 days. And I know. I'm so, Morgan, thank you for dressing them in different colors. <laughs> Wyatt is in the blue, and Oliver in the red, and Aaron also is here. And so we, we thought it'd be a great time uh, with Chloe and Brian being home. We wanted to get uh, Riley dedicated, and then got out Cody and Morgan were going to be here as well. And we're like, well, let's just do all of them if that's something they want to do. So I'm going to ask them all to come at the sun, and Aaron as well, and uh I don't know if you have family coming with you or just, this is gonna, she's gonna, I have enough going on here today, I'm gonna have to be healthy. They're so little and yet they're big for twins, right? It's been a while since I've seen babies that brand new. Look at that. I think mommy had one of those. <laughs> so um, we've got a number of things here. We have, we have, and I'm not going to make everybody hold all these, but we have, uh, we have Bibles, the first Bibles for all of the babies. So maybe, um, sure, you can, and we have one um, for Aaron as well. You can, yeah, you can hold your own Bible there. How's that? I'll give that to you. No, that's, no, that's, no, that's just special just for you. So we have that. We also have um, our the, shawl, the prayer shawl ministry. They have uh, shawls and blankets for everybody as well. And I need to make sure I want you to see these because they do such nice, um, nice work here. I know that I have all this information down. In the envelope, there are prayer swatches, and those are for the twins, for Oliver and Wyatt. But also, they have uh, they each have their own. These are for the twins also. So. And this is for Morgan. So a prayer shawl for her. And this is for Aaron. And Riley received one, right? Yeah. Through your mom and dad when she was first born. So we have all that for you as well. Like I said, I won't make you make you hold all of this. So first of all, though, we're gonna give all. children just to represent the innocence that they're born into and we, the goal is by dedicating them to the Lord that they will maintain that level of innocence. We know that the world will come and the world will try to get into our lives and uh, put things in there that are not of God and we know that inevitably we get exposed to the world. There's nothing we can we can avoid that living in this world but God asks us to, while we're in the world not to be of the world so we're going to pray uh, for them as well as for mom and dad to do their best to protect them from the world uh, and keep them as innocent as possible. That's what something I believe God told me when we had our children. He said, keep them as innocent as possible for as long as possible. And I think about that when God told Adam and Eve not to eat from the tree of the knowledge of good and evil. God did not intend for man to ever think in those terms. So he wanted us just to be pure and innocent. So we give the small white flower to the children today to represent that. And I have the large white flowers for mom. 
This represents the role that she'll play in preserving this innocence because we all know that mom is the greatest influence in our children's lives. You've all heard the saying, the hand that rocks the cradle rules the world, and there's a lot of truth to that, the influence that mom has. The example that she sets, the reading of Bible stories out of their Bibles with them, um, to, to, to keep this level of innocence and to instill them the word of God and, and, and the ways of God, mom is going to be key in doing that on a day-to-day, -day, hands-on basis, and obviously setting the example of what a godly woman is, not only for uh, Riley as she grows to see that as an example in Chloe, but for Oliver and Wyatt, for them to see in Morgan that the type of woman, the godly woman that they want to look look for when they grow and uh, become interested in girls, that they want to see those same attributes that mom has demonstrated as a godly mom. And so that's the purity and, and the role that's represented in the white flower to our moms today. And finally, to dad, we give the large red flower. And of course, this represents the role that Jesus demonstrated to us that they have in their homes as the number one servant, but also the one through that service, the sacrifice that's made that dad um, puts, you know, the well-being of his family above everything else. And so the sacrifice that Jesus made in shedding his blood for us as fathers, we, we sacrifice put our families best so that they always have the best so that they're always protected so that example has it's up to dad to lead the way jesus leads us it's dad that says it's time to get up on sunday morning when it's early it's time to go to church it's time to pray before our meals it's time to uh to um set that example again for riley of what to look for in a godly husband someday and for Wyatt and for Oliver to find out what it's to be to be a godly man. We're going to look to Cody. What's the example that he's, he's set? So certainly the man we know plays the role of Christ in the home and in the family. And the red flower represents that. And so this is, we don't dedicate, we don't baptize infants because um, we believe that baptism is a public demonstration and confession that I am receiving Christ as my Lord and Savior. They're not old enough to make that decision yet. So what we do, we follow the example biblically of dedicating our children to the, to the Lord. So that's what we're doing here this morning. And so if you would, I'd love for you to stand and agree with us all together as we pray for mom and dad and the families. So, thank God for women and your wives, right? Keeping us straight. Um, we're going to pray. We're going to pray for them that, uh, again, in dedicating them, that God's plan and purpose is going to be fulfilled in their lives, and that mom and dad and, and even grandparents will be able to be used as godly examples and know what to do because, <clears throat> you know, there's no instruction manual that comes with our kids as we know. So that God will lead mom and dad in what's the right thing to do at the right time and in the right way. And so we're just going to pray for them this morning to be able to do that. Father, we come this morning in the name of Jesus. And Lord, I thank you for these gifts, Lord, of Riley and for Oliver and Wyatt and Aaron. God, these children are the greatest gift that you've given mankind other than Jesus to give us the, the privilege to have life that we can love, that we can nurture, that we can instruct, that we can impart wisdom to, God, to give, uh, to, to, to train them, Lord, in godly ways, which will bring about a successful life. God, you have planned and purpose for each one of these children. Lord, I pray that you'll be with, with uh, Brian and Chloe and Lord for uh, Cody and Morgan to give them wisdom. Lord, it's not always knowing, it's, it's, it's not just what to say, but it's when to say it, how to say it. When is the right time to instruct this, impart this information and guidance, Lord? All that, Lord, is a challenge on a day-to-day -day basis. So, Holy Spirit, we pray that you give them that wisdom, give them that guidance. I pray that you'll prompt them to know what to do and when to do it. 
God, I pray that you'll keep them on our hearts and minds so that we can, when you remind us, we'll lift them up before you. But Holy Spirit, we pray that you'll come now and we just pray your blessing over these families, over these children's lives, that you'll give them at a very young age that sense of purpose, God, that you have for them and begin to guide them in the path of life that you have laid out for them. As your word tells us, God, all of their days are numbered in your book. Lord, you already know the plan. You know what they should be doing even on a day-to-day -day basis. So God, help them to know that and to follow that as you lead them along. Lord, again, we thank you for this privilege of new life that you've given us. I pray, God, that you would just bless them now in all that they do. God, give them favor in everyone that they come into contact with, Lord. And I pray it and give you all the praise in Jesus' name.